Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, I'm going to do a uh, an unboxing video. I ordered myself one of these reproduction model 1805 Harper Ferry uh, smoothbore 54 caliber pistols. The uh, Harper's Ferry model 1805, I believe, was the first pistol produced by an a U.S. Armory, uh, of course, by Harper's Ferry, and they were a flintlock smoothbore 54 caliber. Well, the reproductions today are in, are a uh, 58 caliber, and I was going to order the uh, flintlock 58 caliber smoothbore Harper's Ferry pistol, and I stumbled across this one. This is basically a model 1805 that's been converted to cap lock. Now the uh, model 1805 flintlocks uh, they were primarily issued to dragoons and they were issued in pairs and what's interesting in, with that is each pair had the same serial number so they manufactured like 2,000 and some pistols but in actuality they were 4,000 and some because two pistols had the same serial numbers. but they are primarily issued to Dragoons, uh, I believe during the War of 1812. Yes, the War of 1812. Um, and then later on, the pistols were converted to cap lock. Some of the pistols were converted to cap lock, which this one is a uh, reproduction of a cap lock conversion. And those were issued to the Dragoons during the Seminole Wars and the U.S.-Mexican War, uh, I believe until the uh, Colt Dragoon and Walker and Dragoon Revolvers replaced it. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is the cap lock conversion of the Flintlock Model 1805. And there's like 1805, 1807, 1808, something like that, different models than 1835. And basically, they're all the same except for flint lock versus cap lock so let's open the box up and see what she looks like and it is a David Petter Solly okay. personal loading details safety stuff Alright, here's the pistol, in plastic, let's see what else is in the box, newspaper packing, DVD, I've never tried any of these DVDs lately, all the other DVDs I've gotten from David Pedersoli, they would not play, I, I don't even know if my DVD player works anymore, so. and that looks like that's all we got. Set the box off to the side. Alright. So take it out of the paper bag. And there she is. Now, first thing I noticed is the brass. I might have to clean that up a little. I don't know how well you can see that. A little bit of stain. It's maybe old oil, packing oil on there. You can see the brass right there. So I might touch that up with some brasso and you can see that right there. All the variance and the color. So uh, that, ought, that ought to clean up fairly easy. So here we are, cap lock and I think it takes number 11's. So. And the reproduction flint locks are in 58 caliber and this cap lock is the true caliber uh, 54 so I don't know why there's the front sight no rear sight so I don't know why the uh, flint locks are 58 and this one's 54 but 54 is the correct caliber so here's the ramrod oh she's in there there she goes wooden ramrod
fits kind of tight. Oh, oh, <laughs> now, <laughs> there we go. Now she fits pretty snug. Not a real audible click. I kind of like to hear it go click, click, but. Oh well. Alright, I'm gonna dry fire. Surely this thing's not loaded. See how that trigger is. Ooh, pretty nice. Oh yeah, that's a real nice trigger. This is probably irritating some people, but I don't care. You know, it flattens that cone out and makes those cap stick on there a little snugger. Yeah, that's a real nice trigger and pull on that thing. So, I can't wait to shoot this. But, I decided to go with the, uh, the cap lock instead of the flint lock. Because you see a lot of the flint locks out there. You really don't see any of the uh, cap locks. I think there's just one other video about the cap lock version on YouTube. And there's plenty about the flint locks. Pretty nice. She feels really nice in the hand too. Oh yeah. So I hope to make some paper cartridges, 54 caliber paper cartridges for this gal. I ordered a kit and hopefully it'll get here one of these days. Uh, I might have to try shooting it without paper cartridges. Just do the uh, powder ball and a wad but uh or patch not wad patch but yeah there she is let's see if the eagle right there the harper's ferry model 1805 actually this this one says 1807 on the lock so which would have been converted later on to cap lock from Flintlock. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. So, alright, hey, thanks for watching. Take care. Safe shooting.